My name is John Kastner and my film is NCR, Not Criminally Responsible. It's about people with a mental illness who commit terrible acts of violence and if you want to know what they do with these guys, can they fix them, can they help them, what happens, this film, NCR, Not Criminally Responsible, is a, uh, a look into that very hidden world. My name is Shawnee Cohen and the film is called The Manor and it's an intimate portrait of my family. The film's really about my parents, their relationship, and our struggles at running a strip club. My name's Ann Shin, and I'm the director of The Defector, Escape from North Korea. It's a film where I go embedded with a group of defectors escaping from North Korea through Asia, trying to make it to freedom, and we had to rely on a human smuggler. The Ghost in Our Machine uh, tackles the very complex subject of animal use, animal rights, animal welfare, through the lens of international photographer Joanne MacArthur. The film poses the question, are animals sentient beings or are they property to be owned and used? We followed General Romeo Dallaire to Africa, back to Central Africa, as on his mission to investigate child soldiers, the use of child soldiers, and what could possibly done about, be done about it. I'm uh, Rick Esther Bjornstock, and the film is Tales from the Organ Trade. It is an investigation into the black market trade in body parts. I have a short film at Hot Docs this year titled Just As I Remember. The film tells the story of a man named Brad, and he has ALS, a terminal illness also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. It's a film about childhood and about um, parents just being really brave in the face of their mortality. My name is Barry Averich. I'm the director of a film called Quality Balls, the David Steinberg story. The film is about David Steinberg, who is one of the most influential comedians uh, and also sitcom directors. I'm Charles Wilkinson. Our film is Oil Sands Karaoke. We have five oil workers who drive big trucks and make $200,000 a year. On Thursday nights, they get dressed up and they sing karaoke. The Continental was this awesome club, gay clubhouse, so to speak, where all kinds of people mixed and were entertained by the likes of Bette Midler and LaBelle and it was, uh, it was an incredible place. When we do our music, basically we feel we're documenting our life through our music. It means a lot to us to be a part of the festival this year because this is something new to us and I think documentaries are basically the future of film.